assalamu alaikum students how are you all in this video lecture i am going to discuss 50 mcqs of first chapter of second year chemistry and it is product classification of elements and periodicity now going to first mcqs the number of shells in an element reflects its period number for example uh if i uh, give example to you of hydrogen atom hydrogen has one shell so it belongs to first period and similarly sodium has three shells so it belongs to third shell next time we use the number of electrons in valence shell of an element reflects it it reflects the group number for example hydrogen has one electron in its valence shell so it belongs to first a it has first group number first a generally metals form oxides metal forms uh, basic oxides metal forms basic oxide next mcq is a variable valency is shown by the variable valency is shown by transition metals and uh, group first b is included in transition metals uh, hydrogen can be placed above group of periodic table hydrogen can be placed on first a it can also be placed on fourth a it can be placed on fifth a because it has properties uh, similar to alkali metals it has properties similar to carbon family as well as it has some properties that are similar to halogens so it can be placed on the top of first a fourth a and seventh a next mcq member of group first a are called member of group first a are called alkali metals these are alkali metals next mcq member of group first b are called a uh, member of first uh, b are called squeenage metal uh, alkali metals belongs to first a alkaline earth metals belongs to second a and halogens are actually seventh a keeping in view the size of atoms which order is the correct one a uh, magnesium has a smaller size than uh, s or B A has a bigger size than magnesium, so uh, B option is correct one. A uh, next MCQ is which one of the following oxide is amphoteric in nature? Uh, it's zinc oxide Z N O is uh, actually amphoteric in nature. Uh, when uh, it reacts with acid, it forms uh, a salt and react as a base. and with the base it will react as a acid and again it will form a salt according to new lands arrangement of elements recurrence uh, or periodicity of pro properties take place at every eight element every eight element will repeat its properties in periodic manner and uh, it is actually the definition of periodicity uh, we can study the properties of different elements according to uh, periodicity next mcqs atomic number was discovered by musley in 1913 it was discovered by musley in 1913 a uh, next uh, mcqs uh, mark it again 1913 next mcq is total group in modern product table uh, total groups uh, in modern product table are actually 18 in number and uh, according to old product table there are eight groups and these groups are divided into sub groups a and b first a and uh, first b same to up to eight groups next non metals usually exist as these uh, can exist as a liquids or gases next ionization energy of the sodium 
hydrogenation energy of the sodium is 496 kilojoule per mole 496 kilojoule per mole SNCl2 is a covalent compound it is a covalent compound uh, next MCQs uh, G a gallium has oxidation state uh, gallium has plus 3 oxidation state it shows plus 3 oxidation states hydrides can be classified into 3 types uh, first are uh, normal inter and uh, acidic a second uh, next MCQ is which of the following represents elements in order of increasing atomic radii in order of increasing atomic radii uh, iodine has uh, bigger atomic radii uh, than bromine and bromine has bigger atomic radii than cl chlorine so it's the correct order next mcq the degrees in nuclear force on valence electron because of the increase in number of shells containing electrons in layering above is known as shielding effects it is known as shielding effect in this case the inner electron shields the nuclei uh, and the valence electron has a, a repulsion with the neighboring electrons number of elements present in fifth period of product table is 18 first period contains two element second and third each contain eight element uh, fourth and fifth period contains 18 and sixth contains 32 and seventh contains 32 plus and so on which element has the largest uh, first ionization energy uh, among these uh, elements the lithium will have largest energies because lithium has a smallest size among all of these which of the following pairs are chemically dissimilar which of the following pairs are chemically dissimilar uh, these are actually uh, C A and Z N calcium and zinc these are dissimilar which of the following elements is most electronegative uh, according to polling scale fullerene is the most ele electronegative atom and have 4.00 electronegativity and cesium or francium are the least electronegative elements in product table and they have 0.7 electronegativity which of the following has the greatest metallic character a cesium will have the greatest metallic character a d option is correct one highest hydration energy is shown by which of the following will show highest uh, hydration energy uh, c option i think is correct one uh, smaller size and greater uh, number of charge will lead to uh, higher hydration energies which of the following has highest value of ionization energy uh, in this case uh, aluminium will have highest ionization energy because uh, it has greater number of proton in the nuclei so uh, we need uh, extra energy to lose its electron uh, fourth electron next 27th mcqs the valence shell electronic structure of an element is ns2 np5 the element will belong to group uh, if there are seven electron in valence shell then it will belong to seventh a uh, we have a uh, deal uh, dealt uh, with mcqs earlier that number of electrons in valence shell tells us about group number of group so in this case valence electrons are seven in number so the element will belong to seventh a next which of the following pair of atomic number represents a second a a uh, second a will have two electron in valence shell uh, so a uh, fourth and 20th 
a uh, C option is correct one in this case uh, we can say that a uh, first electron 1s2 uh, and second or the 2s2 and uh, 20 will have uh, uh, 3 3 and 4th s 4th s so C option is correct one among the following elements the highest value of electron affinity is shown by the highest value of electron affinity is shown by chlorine why uh, it's chlorine chlorine not fluorine uh, we know that fluorine has smaller size and when it takes one electron there is the inter repulsion in between electron so fluoride ion is a little bit unstable as compared to chloride ion chloride ion is almost average in size so it is stable and it has a highest value for electron electron affinity next mcq 30 mcq the force of attraction of an element on shared pair of electron uh, is known as uh, it is known as uh, electronegativity it is known as electronegativity uh, d option is correct one alkali metals in each period have a uh, lowest ionization energy the ionization energy of alkali metals has lowest ionization energy in each period because they are present on the left side and has greater size of the atom and valence electron can easily be uh, withdrawn with the small amount of energy next 32 mcq the correct order of electron affinity among the following is uh, most of students uh, thinks that fluorine has uh, highest electron affinity but in actual case uh, chlorine is the most uh, is the one of the element having highest electron affinity and after that fluorine and 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 bromine so c option is correct one uh, the correct answer is c not a next mcq 33 mcq which of the following does not exhibit the periodicity in properties of the elements a uh, 33 mcq is that uh, a same properties uh, uh, electronegativity uh, there is a uh, irregular behavior of the elements in electronegativity uh, next mcqs polymeric hydrides shall be formed by polymeric hydrides shall be formed by beryllium be next the highest acidity is shown by uh, mn207 we can uh, explain the acidity on the basis of a uh, atoms electronegative atoms present in a compound in this case there are seven oxygen atoms uh, they can withdraw electronic density toward itself uh, creating uh, more partial positive charge on mn so mn207 has highest acidity next the covalent hydrides are usually volatile liquids or gases covalent hydrides are actually organic compounds so they are volatile liquids or gases are 37 mcqs which of the following is not isoelectronic with others uh, it is clearly uh, seen that cl negative is not isoelectronic Sodium has 10 electron in its valence shell and magnesium also has 10 electron and oxygen contains 8 and when it takes 2 electron it also has 10 electrons. On, in case of chlorine it has 18 electrons so D option is correct one. Which of the following oxide is amphoteric? Uh, which of the following oxide is amphoteric? Uh, in case of 38 uh, sb2o3 is uh, uh, actually amphoteric oxide uh, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide a uh, calcium oxide is basic carbon dioxide is acidic and silicon dioxide is also acidic uh, the melting point is lowest for 
the melting point is lowest for uh, magnesium magnesium no i think it's a uh, uh, strontium sr uh, it has a larger size so it will have lowest melting point next mcqs 40 mcqs which of the following is not true for metalloids which of the following is not true for metalloids uh, they are borderline elements that exhibits both metallic and non metallic properties uh, they uh, they usually act as electron donor to non metals and they usually act as a electron acceptor from metals uh, they are good conductors of heat and electricity uh, option a is the correct one they are borderline elements that exhibits both metallic and non metallic properties uh, among the pure ionic compounds the dash have the highest latest energy uh, 41 mcq has uh, fluorides fluorides has uh, highest latest energies which electronic subshell in lanthanide is uh, incompletely filled uh, in case of 42 uh, lanthanides uh, has a 4f uh, valence shell that uh, is actually incompletely filled next time is the number of elements in fourth period of periodic table is number of elements in fourth period of periodic table or 18 i have already told you that first uh, period contains two element second and third each contains eight eight element and third has eight fourth contains 18 elements next 44 mcqs the basis of modern product law is a atomic number it is atomic number the highest ionization energy is possessed by uh, nit nitrogen it's nitrogen nitrogen uh, is actually a gas so it will have highest uh, ionization energy among these elements the degrees in atomic size is much prominent across rows containing elements of s and p block elements s and p block uh, next the mark the correct statement mark the correct statement uh, 47 mcqs uh, all lanthanides are present in the same group uh, it's wrong all lanthanides are not present in the same group uh, all halogens are present in the same period no they are present in same group all the alkali metals are present in same group or alkali uh metals are present in the same it's a uh, correct one c option is correct one uh, because all alkali metals are present in first a group next encircle the correct statement metallic character increases down the group it's correct one metallic character increases along the period uh it's wrong uh, metallic character remains the same along the period it's also wrong metallic character remains the same down the group it is also wrong so first option a option is correct one metallic character increases down the group in potassium superoxide oxidation state of o is uh, it's superoxide and in case of superoxide the oxidation state of oxygen is a minus one by two in normal oxide oxygen shows minus one uh, in peroxide oxygen shows minus one oxidation state Hydrogen can be placed with the element of group 4A because both act as a strong reducing agent. B option is correct one. Uh, both act as a strong reducing agent. If you have any question regarding these MCQs, uh, you people may ask in comment. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and share my videos to other thank you